right, so now that we've uh, done this, now let's go to the next section. This is on components. So for some purposes, it's best to introduce a coordinate system and treat vectors algebraically. So if we place the initial point of a vector A at the origin of a rectangular coordinate system, then the terminal point of A has coordinates of the form A1, A2, or A1, A2, A3, depending on whether our, our coordinate system is two or three dimensional. So see figure below. So let's take a look at over here. So let's say we have a 2D one here. We have X and zero. This is our Y. So we have our vector goes like this. This goes, this is the vector A. I'll draw this like that. This goes to A1, A2. This is a point right there. And you could also write this as this vector is equal to, if you write this uh, in, in coordinate form, you could write this with this kind of bracket, this triangle bracket, as opposed to these regular brackets. A1, A2 to indicate it is a, um, it is a vector. So like that. Or you can have it in, um, let's draw the, in Z direction there. So that's Z. This is Y. Y is a bit like that. Y. In 3D, so then this is going to be our X, like that. So let's say we have a point in space here. This is our A1, A2, and A3, like that. And then there's the origin there. And let's say we have an arrow straight to it. This is our A vector. And this point goes all the way down here. And let's just draw a point from here, drawing it in 3D. So that is what we have. And uh, this one here, uh, and I'll get to this in a bit, this, you can write this in uh, vector form like this. So if you could write these brackets or these components with this triangle bracket indicates it is a vector. A2, A3. And here, uh, yeah, I put the arrows on top just so it's, uh, just so it's clear that this is a vector. And then uh, these ones are all uh, scalar points, in, but in, uh, in a vector form. So you write this as a vector like that. And uh, here I usually don't put them here because it's pretty straightforward. These are all vectors and these are scalars. That's uh, it's pretty straightforward. But here, because we're having the A uh, value already, there's an A there, so just indicate it is a vector there. All right, and uh, yeah, so these coordinates, A1, A2, or A1, A2, A3, are called, uh, are called the components of the vector A. And we write a vector A uh, equals to this triangle bracket, A1, A2, or in 3D, uh, this uh, a vector is equal to uh, this triangle bracket a1, a2, a3. And we use a notation, these triangle brackets a1, a2, for the ordered pair that refers to a vector so as not to confuse it with the ordered pair with the regular bracket a1, a2 that refers to a point in the plane. So those, uh, these refer to this point, this vector, you could write it as this. This is a vector. And this is a point, and this is a vector. So yes. And uh, now, for instance, the vectors in the figure below are all equi uh, equivalent to the vector, this OP uh, equals to 3, 2, whose terminal point is the point uh, P, 3, 2 there. So let's draw a grid here. Well, let's just uh, draw the X, Y coordinates. So there's the X and there's the Y. Let's say we have the Y is like this. And now let's draw from O, P, so 3, 2. So we go from O, and then this is going to be, uh, let's say it's going to be 1, 2, 3. And then we go 1, 2, so that goes right here. And this is the point P, is at 3, 2. So then this is our O, P. Yeah, that's our, yeah, that's our vector. All right, here, let's write this our y, this is our x. So these ones, this is going to be equivalent to uh, if you have uh, the, the same direction and magnitude, uh, but shifted anywhere else. So if we go from, yeah, so the calculus book goes from 1, 3. Let's go up 1 here. This point right here is 1, 3. So uh, 1, 3. And then it needs to go up, uh, well, uh, yeah, so it goes right 3 and up 2. So we'll just go up 2, 1, 2. And then we'll go uh, one, two, three. It's be another one there. So that's going to be right here. So this is the same point right here. This is at four, and we're going up. So this is uh, two. So go one, two, yeah, three. There's going to be at five, four, five, like that. 
draw this point right here. And now another uh, arrow that uh, calculus book drew goes from two and then dash one here. And then this would go, well, again, one, two, and then one, two, and then another three here. This will be right here. So this is the equivalent to the center one there. All right. And uh, there's three more calcul calculus book drew in just for completeness. Let's get them all. So it goes one, two, and then three. And it goes up one here. And so if that is one, then we go again. So we go one, two, three, and one, two. So we go all the way up here. Like that. And then another one is goes to negative two and then one. Here's the end point. So that means we have to go one, two, three. And then we gotta go down uh two, one, two. So that this goes all the way across right here. And there is an arrow. And then uh, just one more, it goes, uh, it goes, this is the end point right here. So it goes one, negative two, two at the bottom. And then we go one, now let's make this a center here. It goes one, two, three, and then goes one, two. So one here, draw this here, and goes all the way across like that. Yeah, so anyways, just wanted to exercise in <laughs> plotting. So all these are equivalent to this one here. That's our O. P from the origin to the point P. So those are all, all equivalent vectors. All right, so let's continue further. So yeah, so what all these have in common, so what they have in common is that the terminal point is reached from the initial point by a displacement of three units to the right. So yeah, one, we go here, one, two, three, and then uh, and two upwards. So we go one, two. So every single one is three right, uh, two up. So we could think of these geometric, uh, th we can think of all these geometric vectors yeah, as representations of the algeb uh, algebraic vector A uh, equals to 3, 2, there are these uh, triangle brackets. And the particular representation O, P from the origin to the point P, 3, 2 is called the position vector of the point P. So we could write this as O, P, like that. And uh, yeah, so now in three dimensions, the vector A equals to, which uh, OP with arrow on top is this uh, notation of the vector, uh, is equal to yeah, the uh, triangle bracket A1, A2, A3, and uh, this, uh, this one right here from, is yeah, from zero to P, is the position vector of the point P, uh, which has coordinates A, yeah, A1, A2, A3, and, uh, and so on. So C figure below. So this is in two dimensions. There's the position vector of this point right there. And again, position vector is from the origin to the point. So now if we draw this out in 3D, so if we have it in 3D, this is our Z, and this is our uh, Y, like this. And uh, now we're gonna move this, yes, made it a bit shorter, and let's draw the Y, Y is like this. And then draw the X, X is like that. And let's get the point here. So let's say we have a point here, I'll just make it a bit more ver uh, horizontal. So there's a point P, like this. P, and yeah, here I quickly shifted everything up more, made this more horizontal, just to match my calculus book. So this is the point P right here. So if this is the point P, its position vector is going to be uh, the vector from the origin. Let's draw this origin here. Or better yet, let's just draw point P. This one has coordinates A1, A2, A3. Three, like that. And now it has, this is from the origin all the way into this point P. This is going to be the position vector, vector of P. And this is right over here. Let me make this capital P. All right, so now that we have this, and now what we'll do is, well, let's take this further. So let's consider any other representation, we'll call that from A to B, of this A, uh, where it has a position uh, vector O, P, so from zero to P, it's over here, but we'll just take this exact same uh, vector, but move it uh, anywhere else. So where the initial point is A, uh, and then has, uh, has uh, coordinates X1, Y1, Z1, and then terminal point is B, X2, Y2. Uh, Z2. So let's say we start off instead, we'll go, we'll go up to this point A. So we have this point A, this has X1, Y1, uh, this is going to be our Z1. And now we're going to want this exact uh, one right here. So this is OP, 
like that. But again, this is just our vector A in OP form and position vector form. So we're going to have now instead of OP, we're going to go from A to P. And this one's going to go all the way up to the exact same parallel there. This is going to be up to this point P. I'm mean, up to point B. That is our point B, and it has coordinates x2, y2, z2, like that. And this is our A is equal to this representation A to B vector. All right, so now if this is uh, this this vector right here, a b is equal to this a vector, the same as exactly uh, this one here. If there's just different representations of the same exact vector, then we must have these coordinates has to be well just uh, this one here added by these exact coordinates here. So you're moving exactly the same displacement there. So thus we must have x one plus a one equals to x two. And also we have to have y1 plus a2. So we have to go, uh, this uh, a2 has to add with this one, has to equal to this. And so on, this equals 2x, uh, this is gonna be y2. And then, uh, and then likewise, we must have y, I mean z1 plus a3 has to equal to z2. Uh, so in other words, this right here, has to be equal to b, and this is going to be x1 plus a1. And then the uh, y2 has to be uh, y2, uh, I mean y1 plus a2. And uh, one more actually. And then last one, z1 plus a3, like that. And now what this all means is well, we could just take this over and move it to the other side. Same thing with here, y move it to the other side z move it to the other side, so we subtract x1 uh, from x2 and so on, so we get, uh, then we get becomes, this whole thing becomes, uh, a1 is equal to x2 minus x1, and then a2 is equal to y2 minus y1, so we could solve for these differences right there. And then a3 is equal to z2 minus z1 like that so we just write them all like this and this just becomes the position uh, vector here because a1 minus 0 these are all the origin is going to be a1 a2 minus 0 is a2 uh, yeah is, and then a3 minus 0 is a3 and so on so we could uh, look at this and see all the differences there so we get this which is a fascinating result so we could take the difference between any two points and find its position vector all right, yeah, so this is pretty fascinating stuff. So yeah, you can just take these A points and then take the difference, it's just equals to the difference between any two points that have the exact same vector, same direction and length. So thus we have the following result and we'll call this equation one. So given the points A, uh, which has coordinates x1, y1, z1, and B with coordinates x2, y2, z2, the vector A with representation A to B is, you could just write this as, uh, the vector a equals to, and then in vector form, uh, write this square bracket, I mean this triangle bracket, x2 minus x1, y2 minus uh, y1, uh, and then the uh, third component is z2 minus z1, which is quite a fascinating result. All right, so now let's take a look at an example. So example three. So this one states, find the vector represented by the directed line segment with initial point a, uh, 2, uh, negative 3, and 4, so the coordinates are uh, 2, negative 3, 4, and the terminal point B, which the coordinates has negative 2, 1, 1. So let's look at the solution. So by equation 1, so this one right here, uh, the vector corresponding to A, B, this equals 2, and uh, here we'll just write this as A, let's call this vector A, this equals 2, A, B, and this just equals 2, and in vector form, so we're gonna have the difference. So it goes from uh, b minus a. So we'll go negative two minus two, negative two minus two, and then we'll get uh, one, this is our y2, minus, uh, minus y1. So we'll have one minus negative three, and then we'll have it, yes, and then the last one here, we'll have uh, z2 minus z1, so one minus, uh, Four. So 1 minus 4 like that. 
So this would equal two, negative four, and then one minus negative three, that's one plus, uh, plus three, that becomes a four. Negatives, negatives become positive. And then the last one, one minus four is equal to negative three, like that. So yes, this is our vector, like that.